What's up guys, this is Ashenox. Welcome to my Arena Beginner's Guide. There is a lot of information. This is going to be a series of video to help you out to climb to Challenger. There's a lot of rewards that you can get out of progressing into the arena. A lot of sky stones, a lot of gear that you can get from the Conquest shop. And I'm going to show you guys a lot of stuff. You might have to watch this video multiple times. Definitely stay tuned for my other videos, part of this series. Thanks a lot to Smilegate for sponsoring this video. So the first thing that you need to understand is that even when you start in this game, you can definitely go and climb in the arena. I have five accounts as a free to play player. I've tried so many different play styles, so many team compositions. I'm going to be able to assist you with the knowledge that I've acquired throughout the years. And now you can see different brackets, you know, different uh, ranks that you can reach in the arena and a lot of promotion rewards a lot of sky stones you can get the first time and then you got the weekly rewards you always go and pick these sky stones you don't go with the mystic medals because the value for sky stones is just going to be better now all the gear that you can purchase from the conquest point in the shop there's so much gear that is on discount guys like these pieces of gear you would go and purchase the necklace ring and boots before purchasing the gear on the left side weapon helm chest because it's harder to get nice necklaces rings and boots right so out of these pieces of gear uh it's going to sort of like skyrocket your progression because you can do player versus environment but also player versus player content right pv and pvp at the same time you want to use your flags every time you get flags in the arena and it's going to allow you to just get a bunch of conquest points so you can purchase gear from the shop i would work my way from the heavily discounted ones to the lesser discounted ones now in the adventures pad there is so much gear so many rewards guys you, they're showering us with rewards especially on a new account here you get a speed and critical hit set item level 70. When you go in the adventurous path and you do the missions for Free Spirit Sierra, which is a definitely very powerful hero early on, she's fully skilled up. You get, you know, the gear for her. You can put that gear on another hero, no problem, but that gear will definitely assist you so you can farm in the adventure, in the story, push your way uh, in the depths of the abyss, uh, you know, clear in Labyrinth. And now we have the arena unlocked after going in the zone 3, Savara, and clearing the stage 3-2. And you want to do your NPC challenge battles. You're going to get Sky Stones every time you do those. You're going to be getting Conquest Point. You want to be fighting other players because those Conquest Points are very precious. And of course, the weekly Sky Stones, the promotion Sky Stone rewards, it's going to help you to progress faster in the game. Here you can see from the uh, combat guide section all heroes and monsters belong to one of five elements you got fire you got earth you got ice and you got dark and light so these elements are strong against another one right so fire is strong versus earth earth is strong versus ice and ice is strong versus fire light is strong versus dark and dark is strong versus light so when you know about element countering which element it's going to help you out to build your team now i just set my defense team i'll go more in depth in a separate video but you need to work with those elements don't go and build a team of the same element you want to mix it up right so if you have damage dealers let's say you got two damage dealers right you don't want to go with let's say two fire you don't want to double up on element it's okay if you double up on dark or light but early on you want to have different elements, so you got more flexibility. You're going to have an advantage of some sort. In uh, You're going to have more chances to have an advantage versus various teams if you mix the elements up, right? So I want to also talk about different heroes, which I really love. Heroes that are so powerful that can help you not only in player versus player content, but also, most importantly, in player versus environment. And when you uh, progress in boat right like you're always doing your arena but also you're you're pushing in uh your storyline adventure and adventure is a big part of the game you need to push there there's so much content so much gear that you can unlock from the a ap exchange shops it's ridiculous right 
in the abyss the adventurous path you want to keep on progressing in the adventurous path so as you can see you're going to work your way up you know uh silver you get to gold and you get to master and you know finally you reach challenger it's not that hard of a climb guys i've done this climb on my five accounts i've done it multiple times i've rushed it uh you know in a few days on my fifth account even my fourth account right there is so much you know information too in my other videos you can check my progression guides for you know my fifth account which has some just insane uh the progression completely insane uh, progression i was able to do as a free-to-play player um and now they're giving you more rewards when you start the game which is amazing it's really amazing and here is my favorite hero charlotte this hero will stomp on the whole game basically in pv and in pvp ruel of light just an amazing healer, reviver, angelic, momerasi, healer, cleanser, violet, very powerful attack based hero that just counter attacks so often, so annoying. Uh, crowd, this is a tank and he helps your team stay alive longer with defense buff. You can put Aureus artifact on knights, which allow you to just have the rest of your team survive longer. So here is a battle on my fifth account. So I'm going to be showing you guys battles on different accounts running different play styles this is a play style where i don't have that much speed right uh what you want to do uh when you're running a team that's quite tanky you know a team that's tanky that can take a lot of damage and then you eventually retaliate when it's your turn to go and you just like start to take the enemy out one by one now the cool thing about a team like this is that you're able to you know you, you take all the damage that they're throwing at you and then you stabilize you heal your team up now it's your time to go and you start to pick them apart, right? So what I like about this team is that you don't need to have speed. Like speed is very hard to get, very hard to roll a high amount of. So as a starter, uh, you know, a new player, right? Uh, going for like the setup that I have on my fifth account, like a Charlotte from the Selective Summon. And then you go with like Ruel of Light right here uh, from the uh, selector that you can pick one of the... Uh, original five-star moonlight heroes in the game rule of light is just such a tremendous hero she helps you so much not only in pvp but also in uh, pve content you're going to be progressing in the story abyss like she she can help you in so many different places it's just an amazing hero together ruel with charlotte is just very very powerful as a duo right there charlotte the cool thing is that when she has a buff she's able to attack everyone and she deals tremendous damage and you don't even need to build critical hit chance on her because she's just going to be critting all the time right with her powered up skill one when you have a buff on her so you can have an immunity set on her and she's gonna have which means she's gonna have a buff on turn number one as soon as she gets into the battle as soon as she gets her turn which means you're gonna be able to just keep getting her charge attack to attack everyone so that helps you a lot in all sorts of content but also in pve and immunity set makes it so the enemy can cannot land some debuffs to cripple you uh, when you have it unless they remove it but you know it, early on you know as you progress in different tiers different leagues in arena is going to help you out a lot and you can have immunity on uh, your whole team after that especially when you're running a slow team right a team like this you want to go with like two damage dealers, a healer or so weaver, right? That heals your team, sus sustains your team, keep your teams alive longer. Maybe provide revive like Ruel of Light. And then you have a knight that has Aureus. Maybe that knight provides defense buff for your team. And that knight is going to be able to soak up damage. You know, maybe he's provoking heroes. Here is Judith. This is for the uh, high speed offensive team, Judith. Or Righteous Thief Rosie, the specialty change of Rosie. Together, one of them with Rose is an insane combination. You can replace Rose with Yuna later, which is a free hero. And then you combine them with Vildred, which you can get from Selective Summon. Or, oh, well, also with Arbiter Vildred from the Selector, uh, the Moonlight Blessing. Original 5-star Moonlight hero, Arbiter Vildred. He goes down, he comes back to life, and he can attack everyone. His skill 3 is ready again. That hero will guarantee you to deal damage in so many different cases, and he will allow you to win so many battles. So if you prefer faster battles, because waiting for the enemy to deal damage to you and then retaliate after that is not your style, then Arbiter Vildred, man, he's going to help you not only in PvP, but also in PvE content. He looks amazing, really cool hero, 
and uh, he attacks fast too. Like there's no animation too, uh, unless he goes down and comes back to life. But you know, uh, you can clear in adventure faster. You know, Vildred with Arbiter Vildred together is uh, pretty insane. Now Judith plus Rose together is a combo that you put uh, your best speed on Judith and then uh, you know the second best speed on Rose, and together they're going to allow you the other two heroes in your team to follow up, which means that you're going to go first and deal damage to them. Politis is an amazing counter hero and Selene. If you can get your hand on any of them or even both, count yourself lucky. They can help you in all sorts of uh, play styles. Destina, amazing healer that revives the whole team, clans, push combat trueness, adventure, Ras, the specialty change of Ras. These are heroes for a tanky play style, counter attack play style. Armin got buffed up. Martial artist Ken, original uh, gangster, you know, OG uh, since the game got released. This hero is not popular, but I just want to show this play style. You can wear counter sets on your heroes that you can farm from Banshee, but a hero like Martial Artist Ken can just counter every time he re uh, receives a, count uh, a critical hit. Armin has counter attack built into her passive and you can have Elbrus with your sword 5 star artifact to trigger more chances for countering with skill 1. It attacks everyone, it's a charged up skill number 1 when she's counter attacking uh, and it's not her turn, right? So she attacks everyone and I wanted to show the power of this setup. Uh, Adventure Ras is here to help us to stay alive longer. He has Aureus on him so damage is res resurrected from the rest of the team to himself up to 20%. And also, he provides defense buff for the team so we can stay alive longer. But sadly, he was not able to pull it off, right? So you can see all sorts of counterattacks happening throughout the battle. And we got Destina in the back. She's just waiting to get her turn to heal the team up. If anyone uh, fell, if someone went down, she can revive. Well, she can revive the whole team, right? You're not going to have much health left, but it is very powerful. And she can be used in PvE content as well. And you can bring her in Banshee Hunts and farm that place with a green team. And you're going to be able to get a lot of nice gear like counter sets, lifesteal set, destruction set, resist set. These sets are very powerful, especially lifesteal. Lifesteal on a Charlotte is ridiculously powerful, allowing the hero to uh, replenish life as they deal damage. The more damage they do, the more life they get back, which is really amazing. To relieve pressure off your healer you might be running a team without any healer when you run multiple lifesteal sets maybe and that's definitely a cool strategy counter attack set is uh powerful you know 30 percent chance to counter attack when you receive damage that's free damage happening guys free damage is always nice and here is my boy sid this is for a high speed high damage play style very high offense on a hero like this and if you down someone with skill three you get an extra turn so we, you know, we, we can see the different playstyles, right? You got the slow playstyle, you wait for the enemy to, you know, throw all their damage at you, you survive, and then you retaliate. You got the playstyle of, like, you push your whole team to go first before the enemy, and then you throw all your damage at them. Hopefully, uh, some of them start to go down, and then when it's their time to go, they don't have enough damage to take you out, and you're going to be able to just do very good for yourself. Short battles... You know, it's just very fast progression in PvE content, in PvP content. You don't have the patience of waiting. You know, you want stuff to happen fast. Judith plus Rose, man, plus two damage dealers like Vildred and Arbiter Vildred is going to decimate so much stuff in the game. And you're going to be able to climb up to Challenger very fast with a team like this. So this is my favorite playstyle. This is a high offense team right here that you're seeing. Mostly single target damage dealers, not heroes that attack the whole enemy team. So the damage per target is just higher you're singling out uh the targets the the enemy that is most dangerous first so you need to have a better amount of knowledge in the game to pull that stuff off now auxiliary loss if you get your hand on this hero he is crazy paired with like a bloodblade karen those are like two heroes together that can just decimate like so many different teams just two heroes challenger domino can be your third hero and then you're going to be able to just do so good take out so many different opponents so well, definitely stay tuned for my next videos in the series, guys. Let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. That's it for this one. I'm Ashnox. Good luck with all you. Do peace out for now.